What's up, YouTube fans? Today, I want to take a look at the APC Toys Giant Hammer, or their version of a animated bulkhead. So this is kind of an upgraded version of the original toy. They've made some things a little bit better, but it is essentially a oversized or a improved KO. Um, there is a weird typo which says Gayant instead of Giant Hammer. You got that nice artwork on the front. I don't know if it's copied from somewhere, it probably is. On the back you got some line artwork. Transforming fighter with two modes and full actions. Okay. Let's get it open. Uh, this was sent to me by Jordan W. Thanks for allowing me to take a look at your copy. I believe he opened it already. If not, the seal was broken. So let's get it out and see what we got. We have the hammer. It's a nice gold and silver paint on this. That looks pretty good, and a little bit of blue paint. I assume it just assembles like that. All right, there you go. It does spin. We get the minifigure here from the show. Just a static figure, but it's painted nicely. She looks good. We get the different hammer. So, oops. Looks like this goes together. There we go. Pretty neat. Got some silver paint on there. Then we get some of his, his little hand wrecking balls or mace on top of his hands, I believe. And then we get, looks like the bumpers for the vehicle mode. I'm not sure why they're separate. We'll have to figure that out, but it looks like the front and rear bumper of the vehicle. All right, and let's take a look at the figure. So, first impressions, uh, it uh, feels okay, yeah. doesn't feel like a premium figure or anything, plastic is okay, but the, the figure itself, plastic, uh, the joints are a little bit loose, there's a ratchet joint here that's very loose on the leg. Arms, same kind of thing. Yeah, not a very good first impression. I, I don't know if it needs more assembly, but it does feel a little bit on the loose side. You do have a nice head sculpt because of the light piping. It's lighting up blue. I'm not a huge light piping fan, but this one seems to work pretty well. And again, if it's a KO of the original design, then so be it, but uh, no ankle tilts. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this. So, I wanted to check this guy out, but initial feelings is it just looks like a straight KO of the original toy. I'll have to watch a review to see if it's any different, but stay tuned for the review. We'll get this guy checked out, and we'll see you then.